Welcome to Real Talk with Jordan Riley, where the real talk does not come from me, it comes directly from God's Word. And before we get started today, please consider subscribing to our channel, giving this a thumbs up, and supporting what we do by going to realtalkwithjordan.com. On today's episode, I just wanted to wish all of our Real Talk family a very Merry Christmas. You guys have been such a blessing to Kazen and I, as we have for almost two years been bringing you episodes each week. But we want to do something completely different today. See, many of you guys don't know that for years I was a Christian pop rock singer. And about 10 years ago, I had the privilege of recording a Christmas type song that I used to also help raise money for people that were less fortunate. But I want to today share that with you because I hope that you're spending time with family and loved ones and just enjoying this day. And I believe it will only add to your enjoyment of Christmas. The song is called, Do You See What I See? And the message I believe will touch your heart. So sit back and listen and just relax and enjoy this. And at the end, I'll come back and share some final thoughts. The 
I hope that song and video blessed you as it did me. See, so many people are without hope these days, and it's not because they don't have enough presents under the tree, not at all. It's not because they don't have enough food on the table, although that is a sad thing. And it's not because they don't have family nearby or have big celebrations to go to. No, it's because they are without hope because they do not have the Lord Jesus Christ. See, many times it's easy to focus on our needs and our wants and what we're getting and what we're giving and lose sight of what God has done for us and what he has called us to do. Matthew 28 verses 18 through 20 is a command. It is not an option for you to consider. We're to go into all the world and make disciples and baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and teach all that Jesus has commanded. Can you imagine what this world would be like if every born again Christian did that very thing and obeyed that command? Wow, this would be a different place for sure. Now I get that we're in a culture that values stuff and values possessions and things, but like my dad always said, those things will all burn eventually and we can't take it with us. None of us can. What matters is Christ and the treasure that is found in him and him alone. And that treasure lasts for all eternity. My hope and prayer for each of you this Christmas is that you would truly know Jesus personally and that you would believe the gospel. Because when you do, you will have joy unspeakable. And like the song that I just sang says, you will reach out to people that are hurting, that do not know Jesus, that have not put their faith in him yet. Romans 10, 17 says that faith comes through hearing and hearing by the words of Christ. That's the gospel. And the gospel, simply put, is that God is a holy, righteous, and just judge. Think about that a second. He cannot stand in the presence of sin. And he gave us his law and his commands to follow, but we have rejected him. That's the predicament we're in. We've sinned against him. Every single one of us has. And because of that, according to Romans 6.23, the wages of sin is death. So every one of us today deserves wrath and punishment in hell for all eternity. But the good news is that God, being rich in mercy, Ephesians 2 verses 4 and 5, that he sent his son Jesus to be the sacrifice for what we did. Think about that a second. Now, let me break that down and unpack that for just a second. Jesus, fully God, fully man, came to earth, was born of a virgin by the power of the Holy Spirit supernaturally. He lived the life that you and I should have lived but couldn't. He was 100% perfect, no sin ever once. He fulfilled the law that you and I could not fulfill. And he died in our place. He went to the cross showing the ultimate act of sacrifice and love for you and for me. He did that. We should have died. Again, according to Romans 6, 23, the wages of sin is death, but Jesus stood in our place. 2 Corinthians 5, 21 says that he took on our sin and gave us his righteousness. That is the good news of the gospel. But again, it doesn't stop there because on the third day, he rose again, conquering sin, death, and hell, proving that he is God, proving that he is the only way to be saved. So today, he extends that invitation to you. Will you repent of your sin, turn from your sin, run from your sin, mourn over your sin? And will you turn to him, cling to him, believe him, follow him? If you are hearing me today and that's you, let me know. I want to be able to pray with you. I want to be able to just be able to rejoice with you. Because if you are believing Christ today, it's not because of anything you've done. We are wretched, blind, pitiful sinners until the Lord awakens us, removes the blinders, so to speak, so that we can see clearly. Remember, he's the author of our faith, Hebrews 12, 2 says. 
please hear the gospel today. It is the most important thing I could ever share with you. So for me and my family on this Christmas, Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. May the Lord continue to bless you, to show his grace and mercy to your families and to you in the year to come.